The holiday tradition will carry on this year, but with a few changes because of the pandemic. WG and Sean Lewis visited a dance studio this morning to see auditions for a streamlined version of the Nutcracker. On a dreary autumn morning, the sounds of Christmas serve as a reminder of what's to come. Auditions for what will be ANA Ballet's fourth annual production of The Nutcracker. Among the hopefuls here is also the youngest, four and a half year old Ellie. Yeah, she's so excited. <laughs> whose mom is here to bring her love and some support. We went last year um, and she just loved it. So she play, has Alexa play in the Tchaikovsky all the time. So we catch her in the bathroom, standing on the toilet using the towel ring, pretending to be in the ballet. Past productions of The Nutcracker have had upwards of 175 performers for ANA Ballet, a reimagined Art Deco spin on the classic. Those auditioning this weekend, about 30 in all, will be part of a much different version altogether. It would be shorter version, it would be with smaller groups, it would be rearranged differently. Just a few months ago, Alexei Kremnev wondered if there would even be a production this year because of COVID. But after a summer season of classes with no students testing positive, he turned his focus to staging a new version, an altered tradition. We're not talking about a huge business enterprise right now because we all understand like our audience might be limited and most likely it will. Even now, he's not sure if the audience will be live in person or live online or if it will be recorded and streamed. His focus is on creation and education for these young dancers performing their art, even if it means doing it just a bit differently, but making a pandemic nutcracker memorable. Everybody has a good, clear plan. I think it's safe, it's enjoyable, and it gives kids a lot of opportunity and also a lot of hope. In South Loop, Sean Lewis, WGN News.